let's talk about some of the main characters of Toni Morrison's Beloved. Setha, an escaped slave, is the main character of the novel. Born into slavery, she still experiences family, having four children with her husband Haley. Motherhood and her ability to care for her children is part of her identity at Sweet Home. When she experiences the physical brutality of school teacher, she decides to run even once she sees Paul D. captured, and she gets herself and her children to freedom. She'll do anything to keep them free and protect them from slavery. And out of mother love, she makes the rough choice to kill them rather than surrender them to enslavement. Her act alienates her from the black community. She tries to keep her memories at bay, but finally faces the past and moves forward toward the future. Beloved is murdered by her mother when their former master comes to reclaim them after they escape slavery. At first, she haunts the family as the ghost of a baby. Later, she returns in the form of an 18-year-old woman to manipulate her mother and her sister and to drive away her mother's new lover. Her experiences include surviving the Middle Passage, making her a physical manifestation of generations of dead slaves, not just that of Setha's daughter. Her disturbing and demanding presence forces a confrontation with the past. Beloved is eventually driven out of their lives thanks to the intervention of the community. Denver, Setha's youngest child, is an innocent victim of the events of the novel. She spends her childhood isolated from the outside community because her mother killed her older sister and the tragedy caused their neighbors to shun them. Learning what her mother has done, she lives in constant fear that she'll kill her too. She dreams about her father coming to live with them and is resentful when Paul D. arrives. Throughout the novel, Denver becomes more independent and gradually feels herself becoming a woman. When Beloved is driven out, Denver finds a job and begins to prepare to go to college. We first meet Paul D. as the last of the Sweet Home men. He was a fellow slave at Sweet Home when he meets Setha. When she chooses Haley, Paul D. and the other men still fantasize about her. Paul D. is caught trying to escape and taken back to the farm in chains. He's sold and attempts to kill his new owner. Forced to work on a prison chain gang, he's miraculously able to escape, ending up in Cincinnati at Setha's house. Paul D. and Setha become lovers, but when he finds out that Setha murdered her own child, he's appalled and he leaves her. Baby Suggs is dead, and the reader learns about her through flashbacks. As a slave, she bore eight children by six men and was only allowed to raise one, Haley. When she became crippled later in life, Haley worked to buy her freedom. At 124, she preaches self-love and makes her house a way station of information, food, and communal love. But after the misery, she collapses, unable to decide whether to condone or condemn Setha's actions. In the absence of her galvanizing force, the community at large alienates Setha.